in problem number 19 of section 2.3, we're given a rather complicated looking function and asked to compute its derivative. So we have an h of x is equal to the square root of the quantity x plus square root of x plus square root of x. Um, and easiest way to get a handle on this is going to be just to rewrite it uh, using exponents. That's kind of a good rule of thumb for computing derivatives in general. Um, is whenever you see uh, radicals, try to, try to rewrite them uh, in terms of exponents instead. That'll always um, reduce to using the chain rule and the power rule. So if we rewrite this using exponents, we see that we have x plus, okay, so we had to have something here to the 1 half power. And that's going to be x plus, well, square root of x plus square root of x. So I have 1 half power here. And that's going to be x plus x to the 1 half. All right, so this still looks a little messy, but in actually using the chain rule and the power rule, um, this is going to make our computations a lot easier. So to actually compute the derivative, we first want to kind of recognize that we have, first we're applying this inside function, taking the square root of it, and applying this function, taking the square root of that. So the first thing that we want to do is look at the outermost function, which is um, this whole thing raised to the 1 half power. So we first, first of all, just apply the power rule. We have 1 half, which is bringing down this exponent, and multiply it by the entire inside left unchanged. So 1 half x plus x plus x to the 1 half, quantity, uh, no, quantity raised to the 1 half power. And now we need to lower this exponent by 1. We have minus 1 half. And next we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside here. So I'm just going to write x plus x plus x to the 1 half to the 1 half, and just write prime indicating the derivative of that part there. So the next step would be to actually compute this derivative. So we see that um, this is two terms. We need to uh, compute the derivative of each piece. We have 1 half, first we'll just repeat what we've already done here. And this will be to the minus 1 half. Now to compute the derivative of this, we first take the derivative of x, which is just 1, plus, now we want to take the derivative of x plus x to the 1 half to the 1 half power. So we first apply the power rule. Um, treating this as a single single variable. So we take 1 half, multiply it by x plus x to the 1 half. And now we need to lower this by 1. This will be minus 1 half. Now remember that all we're doing, putting in here is just the derivative of this piece. So we've done the first part of the chain rule which says you know, we compute the derivative, the outside function, evaluate it at the inside. And now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is x plus x to the 1 half, or 1 plus 1 half x to the minus 1 half. And remember this whole quantity here is really the derivative of the inside function up above. So while this still looks really messy, the thing to keep in mind when you're applying the chain rule to compositions that involve more than two functions is just to do it one step at a time and to remember that, okay, first apply it to the outermost function and then leave the inner functions alone, then just look at the derivative of the inner functions and just start over the process um, 
at that point with the inner functions.